Our goal is to help illiterate people to understand the world. All our videos are based on Wikipedia articles the largest encyclopedia of mankind. Maria Tukamara, born May 25, 1986 in Yonkro, Sierra Leone, is a UNICEF special representative, author and survivor of the civil war in Sierra Leone. Early Life Maria Tukamara was born and raised in the small village of Magbaru in the year 1986 in the West African country of Sierra Leone. Her mother, Amanatu, was the second wife of her father, the first being Sampa, she was thus raised in a polygamous household. At a very young age, she was sent to live with her father's sister, Maria and her husband, Ali. Experiences During the War as a 12-year-old child during the Civil War in Sierra Leone, Kamara was raped by a male family friend named Sale, Sale, whom she was under pressure to marry when she reached the age of 16, was a trusted friend of her Aunt Marie. Shortly after the rape, the village was invaded by revolutionary United Front rebels, who cut off both of her hands. During the attacks she witnessed the murder of many members of her own family and friends as well as her rapist sale, but she managed to escape. She made her way to the Connaught Hospital in Freetown, along the way she was helped by several strangers, where surgery was performed on her arms to prevent infection. There, she discovered that she had become pregnant during the rape. She later gave birth to a son whom she named Abdul. The child became sick due to malnutrition and then died about 10 months after birth. After being released from the hospital, Maria to spent many years begging for money while living at the crowded Aberdeen amputee camp. She also became part of a theater group at the camp, and along with many other amputees her age, was able to raise awareness of her country's problems by performing and dancing. She was then given the chance to get prosthetics and was sent to London. Thanks to a UNICEF sponsorship, she was able to move to Canada where she has toured with Free the Children. Now we, and UNICEF to promote equal rights as well as education. Life In 2008, Kamara wrote a book about her experiences during the war, in collaboration with Canadian journalist Susan McClelland. The book was entitled The Bite of the Mango, 